Hi everyone. In today's lesson, I'll be going through the answers for the non-verbal reasoning practice paper. So let's get started. Section seven, reflection. Look at the shapes below. The shape on the left has a dotted line, which represents the axis at which it will be reflected. Find the figure that represents the left shape being accurately reflected along its line. So here, if we're gonna have a horizontal axis, okay, then this is going to flip down like this, okay? So you can draw the shape in like this, all right? Now remember, the same distance you are away from here to here, you have to be away from here to here. So this line that starts here should start around here. And this, which starts this distance away, should start this distance away. And since the black was closest, the black will be closest here. Excuse my not so beautiful drawings. <laughs> um, but we can see there that the answer would be C. This line there here should come a little bit further down, actually, really, because it's coming from here rather than there. Good, right, on to the actual question. So, number one, we're reflecting here in the vertical. So let's draw the shape the exact distance away from that line, trying to be as accurate as possible. Drawing in the circle. Not bad, not bad. Now, what's going to happen to this diagonal line? That's going to go to here and then like that. Okay. And then this circle here is going to, if you think about it, remember again, the distance from here to here has to be the same as the distance from here to here. So it's going to be sitting here and black will be on the other side. And this circle here will be like this. And this will have no, this, the colors. If that's a diagonal line, we need a diagonal line here. And the black will be like this. Okay, so from doing that little exercise, the one that looks the most like that, I hope, <laughs> is D. So it helps to try and draw these ones out yourself. Question two. Okay, we haven't got as much space here to draw this, but let's do it here. That shape is going to be like this. This, down, this, down, here. Shaky. Okay, then let's think. This arrow part here, that's going to go the opposite way around. So the arrow will be there and the circle will be there. Okay. The black square will be the first square you see under the circle. The white square will be here. Then this arrow is going to go the other way around. So we'll have the arrow and the black circle. And this is going to go the other way around. So I'll have the white circle and the arrow. Okay, from that, can we spot which one it's supposed to be? I think we can see, yeah, it looks like E. So I really would try drawing these ones out yourself, even if it's a you know, bad little sketch like this, it will help. Okay, this one, again, I'm gonna do it over here because we've got space, so we're going this way. So we draw the square. Then at the bottom, we're gonna have this black section. Then on top of it, a slightly smaller bit, and then a square. Then this line, then this black bit, which goes to about the same bit as this, and then another line from here. Okay, from this masterpiece, what do you think it looks the most like? And I would say B. There's a pretty good representation. Okay, so just by building that up like that it can become quite easy. Okay, number four. I'm going to draw this above here. Okay, so taking it bit by bit, this shape is going to become like this. And the black dot. And then this shape is going to become like this, use the normal. See that this is lined up here. And the white dot. 
So which one does that look the most like? I hope you agree, C. Yeah, you can see by the colors as you go through. Okay, let's continue with question five. So this is a vertical one. So I'm gonna put it over here where there's some space. Now, the actual diamond isn't going to change. Neither is this horizontal line going through here. Okay, now let's start from this side and move inwards. So this black part is now going to be on the far left because it was on the far right before. This horizontal line is going to stay here. This little square is going to fit down here, isn't it, like this. Okay, now let's look at the other side. On the other side, we can continue the horizontal line all the way across. This part here is going to be like this. And then we've got the line at the bottom and the little black bit here. Then if we check which one does that most resemble or resemble, in fact, it's answer B. Question six. So this is a horizontal symmetry. So I'm going to put it reflection. So I'm going to put it underneath here where there's space. Okay, first of all, I'm going to draw in the main shape, which isn't going to change. Now let's go again from the bit closest to the line of symmetry, first of all. So that means that we're going to have the small partition of the smaller bit there. Okay, and this won't change because it's not part of the line of, um, it's vertical rather than horizontal. So then what's going to go in this box, let's go by each shape. This shape is going to look like this now. This shape is going to look like this. And then for the bigger shapes, we're going to have the drop going the other way around and the heart going the other way around. And you can see that, that is the same as A. Okay. A vertical symmetry, so I'm going to draw it over here with a space. Question seven. Okay, let's start. It's a bit trickier on the eye, I think. But if we again start from moving towards the left, start from the bit closest to the line of symmetry, that should help us. Okay, and we'll see that if we draw it bit by bit like that, that first shape becomes like this, and the second shape, not easy to draw. See how they're overlapping? And then the lines, there's one line there, there's one line there, and there's one line there. Okay, and you can see that that is the same as answer E. Tricky that one. Okay, this horizontal, I'm going to put under here. Okay, let's start from the part again closest to the line of symmetry. So these two lines will become here and here. Then we'll have our block. It's not quite to scale, but you can pretty much get it. Then our other line, okay? And then everything else is going to reverse. So this black arrow will be like this. I haven't got enough room here, have I? And then the circle, I'm just gonna squeeze it in. And then the white arrow. Okay, and the circle, we can see is going to have the smaller bit at the bottom. Don't know if you can see that, but if you build up something like that for yourself on a piece of paper, you should be able to see that that resembles B. And you can check out why the rest of them are wrong. Normally they're wrong just by quite small little things. Here we can see that this, the white and the black bit, is the wrong way around for the small circle inside because the black bit was closest to the line of symmetry so it should be closest to the line of symmetry as well which it is because it's this bit here and the other ones similarly you can find problems this one's got the wrong arrow in the wrong direction this hasn't got the right lines in the place and this has got the circle in the wrong place question nine so we have a horizontal we want black here, we have a horizontal reflection, so I'm going to put that here. And now we need to draw our three circles, which are slightly harder shapes. But again, start from the bottom, the bit closest to the line of symmetry. And that's the circle with a white circle inside. So therefore, that white circle needs to be at the top, since it's at the bottom here. It'll be at the top of the other drawing. So what happens is, you see, you start to draw it by reflecting, and you will get a shape that looks 
more or less. It's not super easy to do. More or less like that, okay? And then your white circle will be here and your black circles will be here and here. So that's why the answer is C. Just take your time drawing it out in a bit more space and you'll be able to see that that is, you know, look for this bit there and also this bit there, which is this bit there. That just looks better in their photo than mine. All right, finally, question 10. I'm going to pop this one over here because we're doing a vertical one in this direction. Okay, now, first of all, this is going to be very tricky to draw so many, so many points. The lines in the middle won't change okay and then we've also got these sections here and then we've just got to figure out how we fill everything in okay so starting from this one here which will be here we can see that we should fill in all of this and that is it then let's have a look at this section here which will be this one down here okay and we can see that we should fill in the outer bit and the inner bit. Moving around, let's now look at this one, which is going to go here. So what's we need to put? We need to put in a line, and then we need to shade in. Obviously, some of these are grey and black, and I've done it all as black, so we'll have to be careful when we look at the final answer. But more or less, this will help you. And then finally, the last one, we can see that this is segmented, and this is coloured in, and this is coloured in. So you should be able to see now that that is answer D, with these two bits here being grey, really. Here and here. That's the end of section seven. That concludes today's lesson on our non-verbal reasoning paper. Students can now utilise our entire library of over 150 video lessons and 1,500 exam style questions dedicated towards the 11 plus exam covering English, maths, verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning.